we will know what is mutual fund and how does it work. So, ayun, we will know what is mutual fund and how does it work. And ang dami pong nagtatanong nito, lalo na sa mga gustong mag-invest. Ang iba naman ay hindi alam ang kahalagahan ng pag-i-invest. No? So, ang daming hindi pa rin natuto. So, ngayon malalaman natin. But first, alamin natin kung kailangan ba nating mag-invest. So, ang sumusunod ay ang mga reasons why we need to invest our money. Okay, so top one reason dyan is because of lower deposit interest rate. So ito yung graph since 1976. Noon, mayaman pa kapag depositor ka sa bank. Kasi ang taas ng interest rate. Ngayon, pababa na siya, no? Bumaba na siya ngayon to less than 1% per year. And some banks, merong 0.0625. Okay? okay? So... Though banks are a good source of emergency funds, it is not advisable diba, to put all our money in banks. Though hindi naman namin kayo din discourage kasi importante din talaga na magkaroon tayo ng emergency funds. Diba po? But we must also invest at a higher interest rate. Higher rates like mutual funds. The number two is high cost of living. So many people have difficulty in saving money for their future needs. Ayan, because of inflation. So, the rising of prices. So, mag magkano lang ba yung increase ng sahod, di ba? Or income. Pero lahat ng mga bilihin nagtataasan. So, ang presyo ng mga bilihin due to inflation. Kaya, noon, marami ka pang mabibili sa 500 pesos mo. Pero ngayon, konti na lang, no? Kulang na kulang na lang yan para sa vitamins at pang disinfect. So, that's why many people resort to debt. Kaya kailangan natin na meron tayong emergency fund, especially ngayon. Uh, Philippines, di ba, is a calamity-prone area. Ang dami pong nangyari, especially just recently, nagkaroon ng odet sa mga natamaan. Nahihirapan po ang karamihan, no? Nagre-rely na lang sa ayuda. And a lot of people resort to debt or utang kasi kailangan magpa-repair kasi hindi nakapag-save so. Ang daming gastusin and ang mahal pa ng mga bilihin. Grabe yung prices, no? It, it just few hours na dumating si Odette, pero grabe na yung impact niya. Ang mahal na ng mga bilihin. Okay? So, number three reason why we need to invest is because we cannot work for the rest of our lives. So, sino ba dito pwedeng magtrabaho habang buhay, di ba? So, if we only knew active income or income from our direct labor, mahihirapan tayo, especially kapag marami na tayong responsibilities at tatanda na tayo. Okay? So, we need to have passive income. As mentioned ko, we cannot work forever. It is impossible na marami tayong active income, mapapagod tayo, but it is very possible na meron tayong passive income Even if we get old, meron tayong money working for us. Okay, so ito yung income that keeps coming even if you're not working. And mutual fund is one source of passive income. Ayan, so ano ba yung mutual fund? A mutual fund is a company that pulls money from many investors and invest the money in securities such as stocks, bonds, and short-term debt. Napakatagal na po ng mutual fund sa Pilipinas which was governed by Republic Act 2629 or Investment Company Act of 1960. So, year 1960 pa pala to. Panahon pa na ating mga ninuno. Pero nakapag-invest kaya sila? Diba? What if nakapag-invest sila at that time? Ang laki na po ng value ngayon. Diba po? So, the price of the mutual fund It's called the net asset value per share or the NAVPS. So if you are a uh, mutual fund investor, dapat alam mo ang NAVPS, no? So this is the total worth of the entire mutual fund company divided by the number of shares it has to be distributed to all investors. So for example, I invested 5,000 in a mutual fund. So each share of the fund was valued at 0.8. 8115 or 81 centavos. No? So, these are the shares. No? 6,161 shares 
are issued to me. Ayan. So, it is derived by dividing 5,000. Divide lang natin yung 5,000. Sa price niya na 0.8115 or nav, the nav PS. Kaya, the shareholder got 6,161 shares. Ayan po. So, napaka-easy lang. Now, paano ito tutubo? Okay? So, here is the concept of mutual funds. So, ayan po sa picture, no? So, example, dito is may nav PS tayo na 0.80 or 80 centavos. So, how does it work? Meron tayong mga investors. Example, si A nag-invest ng 1,000. Kaya, i-divide natin, di ba? 1,000 divided by the nav PS na 0.80. That means 1,250 shares. Okay, so si B on the other hand, invest 5,000. So that makes 6,250 shares. So si C naman, medyo mayaman siya, no? 300,000 yung ini-invest niya. Okay, so pwede nga ang billion, di ba? We know SSS, 3 billion yung ini-invest sa mutual funds. So, for example, si C, meron siyang 300,000. Kaya divided na, divide natin sa 0.80, that makes 375,000 shares. So, meron siyang malaking shares kasi malaki yung capital niya. So, meron tayong fund manager kapag nasa mutual fund tayo. No? Merong fund manager na expert dyan na nagmamanage ng ating finances. So, example dito is Rampbar Financials. Licensed yan na fund manager at ini-invest yan. So, the money are pulled and invested in securities. So, yan. After 3 months, for example, so for the sake of the presentation, no, yung nav PS is naging 1 peso. Okay? Dahil nag-generate ng income yung mga ating, yung pera natin kasi ini-invest nga yan sa various companies. So, nag-generate ng income kaya lumalago na siya, naging 1 peso. So, from 0.80, nagiging 1 peso siya. So, eto na yung nangyari sa investment nyo. No? For example, ayan, si A since my 1,250 shares, it times natin or multiply sa nav PS na 1, nagiging 1,250. Si B naman, 6,250 shares, multiply natin sa 1 peso, so naging 6,250 pesos. So, meron siyang gain, di ba, na 1,250. Ayan. So, ito namang si C, since malaki-laki yung shares niya, 375,000 times 1 peso, kaya 375,000 pesos yung nakuha niya. Okay? So, kung i-withdraw niya yung gains, eh di pwede din, di ba? So, i-redeem niyo yung gains or ipatubuin pa rin, pwede din naman. So, you have the option. So, si C ay may 75,000 pesos na gains after 3 months. So, very fair enough distribution, di ba? And you can start for as low as 1,000. Very affordable kasi ang mutual funds. So, ang tubo din naman ay depende sa takbo ng ekonomiya kasi ini-invest ito sa stock market. Okay? So, ano ba yung stock market? So, a stock market is a marketplace where shares of publicly listed companies or securities are traded and ownership stakes in organization companies are bought and sold. So, just like Itong mga companies na to, SM, Ayala, San Miguel, ano pa ba, Jollibee, ang dami, no? So, ilan lang sila sa mga companies that are listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange that issues stocks and bonds for their expansion. So, even government issues treasury bonds, ba? For funding of various projects. So, these companies are very stable and napakatagal na po nag-exist. Okay, so matatakot ba tayong mag-invest sa mga companies na to? O ba mas matakot ka kung mag, ano ka pa ng new business sarili mo, ba So, kumikita ang mga businesses na to, napakatagal na na panahon, kaya meron tayong proportionate share sa kita nila, ba So, it requires millions to billions of capital to become franchisee of these companies. But, because of mutual funds, through mutual funds, Pwede tayong maging shareholder sa napakababang halaga for as low as 1,000 pesos. Okay? So, ayan. In stock market, you can also invest through direct stock. So, ito yung direct stock trading wherein you are driving your own investment. So, wala po tayong fund manager dito. Just like driving your own vehicle, dapat matuto ka ng mag-drive. Okay? So, baka mabangga. ba? That's why we need 
to be knowledgeable. So, unlike kapag mutual fund ka, passenger ka lang, chill-chill ka lang, meron kang fund manager driving your own investment. So, ayan. Since they are expert on it. Okay? So, take note. Ayan po. In every investment, there is a risk. So, ayan. Natatakot na sila. May risk daw. So, para lang din yung nagdra-drive ng car or vehicle, di ba? May risk talaga. Kahit kumakain tayo, kung nasaan man tayo, mayroong risk. Kaya, it's, it just depends on how we manage those risks, di ba? The higher the yield, the higher the risk. So, itong direct stocks, malaki yung potential niya to earn. Pero, babagsak din if hindi mo alam. Hindi ka matutong mag-drive. Unlike sa mutual fund na konti lang kasi nga naka ano siya into a lot of companies. Ayan. So, the higher the yield, the higher the risk. But good thing, the risk in stock market is manageable. Ayan. So, mamamanage naman pala yung risk. Okay? That's why continues yung ating financial education here in IMG. The best way to reduce risk, especially if baguhan ka pa, it is to invest in mutual funds. Ayan. So, dapat mutual funds muna. Kaya yan yung libre ni IMG, di ba? Meron na tayong 1,000 pesos na libre sa mutual funds. So, there are a lot of advantages of investing in mutual fund. So, I took this from Rampver Financials. So, what are these advantages? So, number one, minimal capital requirement. Okay, you can start for as low as 1,000, allowing average individual to have an equal investment opportunity with the wealthy. Ayan. So, number two, there is professional manager that keeps our fund under constant supervision. So, using their technical know-how and expertise in the changing market conditions. Ayan. So, number three, diversification. So, naka-diversify yung ating investment. Hindi lang po kay Jollibee lang, hindi lang po kay SM lang, di ba? So, diversified yung ating mon uh, investment. So, our money is invested in many different companies in a variety of industries. So, unlike kapag franchise ka, Isang company lang ang meron ka, di ba? Or direct trader ka, tapos konti lang yung capital mo. So, isang stock, isang company lang pala yung nabili mo, di ba? So, yan, maliit lang yung potential niya to earn din. As an investor, you own shares in proportion to your investment. So, average earning niya is 6 to 8% per year. And even more depending on the market conditions. Okay, so, next is mutual funds do not have maturity period. Diba? Kahit kailan hanggang gusto mo, no? Mag-invest ka. No lapsing or expiry dates. Kahit hindi ka makapagdagdag, hindi po siya nag-expire, hindi po siya naglalaps. Diba? Walang due date. Kaya, you are your own money manager din, no? So, ikong bahala. Kailan ka magdagdag, ikaw din bahala kung kailan mo iwi withdraw. Ayan, kahit naman, wala siyang strict investment schedule to follow, but we highly encourage to top up regularly, No? Dapat regular tayong nagtatop up to appreciate the growth. So, itong IMG Soldivo, you can add for as low as 20 pesos anytime, anywhere. Diba? So, napakagaling. So, next is safety and transparency. So, ayan, very safe talaga because we are backed up, regulated by the government. And of course, transparent kasi so mutual funds, you can view anytime, anywhere, just like IMG Soldivo, 24-7, you can access that on your portal, and meron din tayong mga statement of account na i-email kung nag-invest tayo sa Apple Equity, or sa ating mga ibang partner na mutual fund companies. So again, hindi tayo natatakot, very safe po, kasi we can make hubble, no, in case of closure, because we are owner in proportion to the number of shares that you own. Next naman is income from mutual funds or tax exempt as per Republic Act 8424. So, ito yung tanong ng guest natin kagabi na magkano daw yung tax no sa ating investment. So, wala po because we are tax exempt and nasa law po yan. Kapag IMG member ka, you have no entry fee and zero sales load meaning wala pong charges. So, zero charges. And like kapag you are investing in mutual funds outside IMG, meron ka po mga finance charges that Range 3 to 5% every time you top off. Okay? Ang iba naman, meron ding entry fee. Kung merong advantages, ano daw po yung mga disadvantages? Number one is rate of return is not fixed 
for some this is advantageous but uh, a lot of people look this as a disadvantage no kasi gusto nila yung guaranteed di ba so the rate of return is not fixed in mutual funds because mutual funds are not a fixed income investment and therefore do not pay out a fixed rate of return but depending on the stock market condition di ba po so this is also an advantage for some because we also have a chance to earn much higher diba, than the bank's rates. Okay, another disadvantage is that mutual fund, uh, the mutual fund value goes up and down daily just like stocks and bonds. Okay, so depending on market conditions, there may be periods when the current NAV PS will be lower than the NAV PS when we bought. Thus, the current value of your investment will be lower than the actual amount invested. So this is called Paper loss lang din naman, no? Paper loss or unrealized loss. Unless, i-withdraw mo siya, di ba? Magiging actual loss na siya. Okay? So, huwag niyong i-redeem kung sa tingin niyo is not gaining, di ba? So, make it paper loss lang muna. That's the best time to add kapag mura yung investment. Kaya, advice namin, magdaglag lalo, di ba? Kapag mura ang price, mas marami kang shares na mabibili. Ito yung graph, no? Ito yung graph ng ating PSEI or PSE index. So, the stock market never goes on a straight line. Never in the history. Diba? So, wag po tayong mag-expect na kapag nag-invest tayo, okay yung dadaanan niya. Diba? So, the stock market, ganito yon. Since 1985, ba tong graph na to? Diba? Since 1985, marami na pong nangyari. Merong people power, kodita, power crisis, Asian financial crisis, EDSA revolution, global financial crisis, ngayon naman pandemic, ang dami, no? Ang dami ng variant ng ating COVID. Kailan ba matatapos? Ngayon naman, Omicron, no? So, ganito talaga yung stock market. Pero, hindi naman lahat ng company magsasara. Nagla-lockdown na, pero nagsara ba yung Jollibee? Nagsara ba yung SM? Yung San Miguel, di ba? So, siguro branches lang, pero it made them, di ba? nagiging stronger yung company because meron silang mga strategy. So, alam na nila yan kung paano with their downturns no, in the economy. So, kaya we encourage this uh, buy and hold strategy or the peso cost averaging. So, na ba yung buy and hold strategy? So, dapat kasi yung mindset natin is hindi short term. no Yung iba, tinatanong kung magkano na yan next month, magkano na yan next uh, few months from now or next year, di ba? Ang advice natin is think long term kasi up and down pa yan, pero in the long run, lalaki na yung value niya. So, just be consistent lang with investing. So, we can explain that using these three scenarios. So, for example, you allocate 1,000 pesos per month for your mutual fund investment. So, for example, 1,000 sa month 1, uh, 10 pesos yung na PS, kaya 100 shares yung nabili. So, the next month, 1,000 pa rin kahit tumaas na yung market, yan, 1,000 pa rin yung budget niya talaga every month, no? So, iba-iba yung shares na bili, depende sa price. Okay? So, nakuha nyo ba yung NAV PS, di ba? That matters talaga. Kahit 1,000 fixed pa yan, pero iba-iba yung shares niya kasi iba-iba yung price. So, the total shares after 6 months is 422. And the last price here is 20 pesos. Kaya the total value is 8,456.20. Ilan ba yung na-contribute? So, di ba? 1,000 nga per month times 6 is 6,000. And meron siyang gain after 6 months na 2,456. So, this is given straight line yung market. no Napakaganda. Patangat siya. So, meron kang gain na 2,456. Ito naman sa scenario 2. Same amount pa rin. 1,000 per month. Pero yung graph, bumaba yung ating NAV PS. So, on month 1, diba 10 pesos siya. Pero for example, sa month 2, bumaba siya to 7 pesos. So, 1,000 divided by 7 equals 142 shares. So, pag month 3, nagiging 5 pesos, kaya 200 shares yung nabili. Month 4, 6 pesos, and so on, no? Hanggang sa umangat ulit siya, bumalik siya ng 10 pesos per share. So, naka-recover yung economy natin, naka-recover yung market. Ilang shares ba yan in total? It's 852 shares. And the last price here is 10 pesos. Kaya the total value is 8,525. Ayan. 
So, magkano yung contribution nila? It's 6,000 pesos. Kaya yung gain niya is 2,525. So, mas malaki ng konti compared sa scenario 1. Okay? Kasi nga, mas marami siyang shares na nabili noong nag-down yung market. So, hindi siya natakot. Unlike kapag hindi ka financially educated, kapag bumaba yung price, natatakot ka na yung iba, withdraw na nila. E di mas lugi sila, di ba? The more pala na magdagdag tayo kasi mas marami shares ang mabibili. Okay? So, paramihan ng shares kapag nag-invest ka sa mutual fund. Ayan. So, sa scenario 3 naman, nakarecover lang siya ng konti, no? Pero hindi bumalik nung that time na nag, uh, nagsimula ka sa mutual fund. Okay? So, 1,000 divided by 10 ulit, that's 100 shares. So, month 2, 1,000 divided by 4, that's 250 shares. So, nung month, one, uh, month 4, grabe, no? Naging piso per share. So, divide natin yung 1,000 divided by 1. So, 1,000 shares yung nabili niya. Ang daming shares. ba From 100 shares, see the difference? Naging 1,000 shares yan. So, ang laking shares nang nakuha niya, no? Because, nag-invest pa rin siya same amount sa month 4. Month 5, 1,000 pa rin. Naka-recover na ng konti. And month 6, nagiging 5. So, kahit hindi kasing taas nung month na nagsimula ka, 5 lang yun, ba Half lang. So, 200 shares yung nabili. The total shares now becomes 2,550. So, i-add lang natin lahat ng uh, shares nyo. So, accumulated shares yan. So, the last price here is 5 pesos. So, kung ikwenta natin, no? The total value of your mutual fund investment is naging 12,750. But you invested only 6,000 because that's 1,000 per month times 6. Kaya meron tayong gain na 6,750. So, mas malaki. So, ayan. Nakuha niyo yung point, ba? So, whatever the price of the market, consistency is the key. Just be consistent in your investing, no? So, ano ba yung goals natin? Ito yon. paramihan ng shares sa mutual funds. So, kaway-kaway sa mga nagsi-six-digit dyan. Okay? <laughs> Ayan. So, ito naman yung table, no? Example sa ating how much you can save to achieve your goals. So, ito yung tanong, no? Magkano ba yung pwede mong i-save every month? So, for example, meron kang 1,000 gaya ng scenario kanina. Tapos at 4%, ayan, no? Malaki na siya. After 5 years, ito na yung value niya. Tapos after 10 years, 147, 250, and so on, no? For example, pang retirement mo, after 35 years, or 35 years from now, kahit 1,000 pesos lang yan, almost 1 million na yung value niya. What if maganda na yung market, nag-recover na, nagsimula ko ng pandemic, tapos mag-recover na yung market, for example, 12%, or projected lang to ha, but the market can even go higher than that, no? But also lower, depende sa takbo talaga, no? But, for example, nag-recover siya 12%, ayan, 5 million na siya 35 years from now. So, do not underestimate the power of small amount. Kung 1,000 pesos, para binili lang ng kung ano-ano, ba? Tapos, wala na. Wala na bukas. Pero, pag sinisave pala natin yan, kahit 1,000 yan, million na pala siya in the future. Okay? So, because of the interest rate. At saka long term, ba? Ito yung sinabi namin, think long term. How much more if you can afford more than 1,000 pesos? Okay, if you have, for example, 2,000, so ito yung value niya, 10 million, 35 years from now. So, depende sa inyo, you choose. Uh, you can screenshot, no, this table. Napakalaking tulong ng guide na to. Okay, so just be consistent with investing. Next, the workflow of mutual fund. So, again, investor, meron tayong fund manager, no? So, the money were being pulled and ini-invest sa mga securities like stocks, bonds, etc. And nag-generate ng returns and it was being passed back to investors. Kaya kumikita po yung mga investors. Okay, so saan tayo naka-invest? Sa various companies. Those companies that are listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. You know, hindi po lahat ng company are open to public. Only these companies na nasa PSE. No? So, uh, ayan po. Yan po yung concept niya. Okay, so SSS, nag-i-invest po siya ng 3 billion in mutual funds. So, ayan, from Inquirer.net. Tayo naman, wala tayong 3 billion. So, pwede po tayong magsimula sa 1,000 pesos. Okay? Ayan, yung free ng IMG. 
at yung partners ng IMG. Pwede tayong mag-invest sa Soldivo Funds, Philam Asset, Atram, Phil Equity, FAMI, Sun Life. Tapos, ang fund manager natin is Rampver Financials. Okay, so again, naka-invest tayo sa diversified natin portfolio, no? Marami pong companies, hindi lang po isa. Kaya, kikita tayo kasi kumikita yung mga companies na yan. Okay, so mutual funds are purely investment. No? Meron din naman tayong one of the best product, itong Kaiser, also an investment. No? Para ding investment sa mutual fund, pero healthcare din siya, health maintenance organization si Kaiser, and meron siyang life insurance feature. And napakaganda kasi we will only save for 7 years. Hindi po lifetime na magsisave. No? So 7 years lang tayo magsave. Merong annual, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, spot cash, depending on age. And meron siyang maturity value. Kasi investment nga siya, meron siyang return of premium and higher than we invested. Kaya ito yung maturity niya. No? For example, sa lowest price na 2,647 per month, so parang nagsisave ka lang ng ganitong amount, 7 years lang. After 20 years, ito na yung value niya, half million, no? 524,776. So, how much more if you can afford 5,882 monthly? Or mag-annual ka, makasave ka kapag ibang mode of payment. So, magiging million din siya in the future. Okay, so, you can attend our financial class 2 every Wednesday para po sa thorough explanation about this. Or you can also contact your inviter kung ano ba tong Kaiser. Okay, so, ayan din po yung value niya, no? Yung sinasabi ko kanina na mag-invest lang tayo. Depende yan sa age, depende din sa option nyo. And after 20 years, meron na tayong 524,000 and up na value. No? So, if pwede din natin hindi withdraw after 20 years, pang retirement natin, or for long term, mas lalaki na yung value niya. So, once you have your Kaiser, you also have online policy management system. So, just like uh, mutual fund, diba? you can access anytime, anywhere. You have statement of account. Ito naman Kaiser. This is also your investment, so you can view that, no, sa inyong portal. So, ito yung sample namin sa aming mag-asawa na Kaiser Plan. Okay, so ito naman yung mga sample dividends na binibigay sa mga investors kapag nade-direct stocks tayo or nag-direct trading, no. So, ito yung from San Miguel. So, before, pangarap ko lang po na magiging stockholder ng mga companies na to. Hanggang sa nagtrabaho ako, nakalimutan ko na yung pangarap na yon kasi ang dami ng responsibilities. Tapos na baon sa utang, wala nang pang save, wala nang pang invest. Hanggang nakalimutan ko na na pangarap ko pala yan noon. And one day, dumating si IMG. Tapos, ito na yung hinahanap ko noon. No? So, mag enjoy ka. Kahit sa konting, konting mga dividends na yan, passive income lang naman yan mafe-feel mo na ay parte pala ako ng kampanyang to no mare-remind sa iyo yan uh, you are earning what the wealthy are earning same kayo konti lang nga yung shares ko pero palago din siya as, as long as you are consistent diba kapag nag-invest tayo so mag-enjoy ka ng dividends and the target here is as tinuturo natin in financial class 2 we should have passive income more or greater than our expenses so mangyayari yan someday kapag sinimula natin ngayon, ba? Sinimula na natin mag-invest. And for sure, we will live with passive income na in the future. So, ayan din yung ating IMG Soldivo Fund. And dyan sa ating portal, meron tayong bond fund, merong strategic. Maka-view tayo nito anytime, anywhere, 24-7. And full equity, ito naman, mag-email sa atin yan ng statement of account. And very transparent kasi makikita mo kapag nag-direct stocks ka, Makikita mo din yung portfolio mo. Ayan. So, once you are an IMG member, ang dami mong access sa lahat ng yan. So, hindi ko na isa-isahin yan. You can attend our financial class 1. Tuesday na po tayo mag-financial class 1. Kasi yung Monday as para sa ating meeting sa IMG members. Sa business side naman ng IMG. Okay? So, hindi pa nga ito business, no? Kahit personal use lang, kikita ka ng marami kapag ina-apply mo yung knowledge or na-learn mo dito sa IMG. Ayan yung ating mga partners, ang dami po. So, we have access to a lot of financial companies. We enjoy discounts from the financial products that we buy and become our own money manager. We call this one-stop shop, ba? So, we have access to a lot of financial companies. So, again, you can attend our financial class 1 to know more of the 
benefits of IMG. Up to 62 benefits na po ngayon. So, para lang din yung Petron or Robinson's Reward Card, mga SM Advantage Card na meron tayong membership. So, IMG, once member tayo ng IMG, lifetime member na po tayo. And we have access to this benefits. So, meron po tayong portal. Once you're a member of IMG, you can check your email. Tapos, meron tayong user ID and password. Tapos, maka-access ka na sa lahat ng benefits dyan. So, ma-print mo din yung mga policy, insurance policy, di ba? We have 100,000 personal accident insurance. So, 200,000 yan, up to 300,000 kapag nag-do business ka sa IMG. So, i-reward tayo. Meron din tayong free healthcare, no? So, ang dami niyan. So, ang dami na po natin, no? We are targeting 30 million by 2030 na magiging financially educated. So, we are all campaigning for financial education. So, yan po yung mga kasamahan natin. Andiyan din po kami sa conventions and travels of IMG. So, one of the benefits of IMG. Kaya yan, how to start? Mag-invest po tayo sa ating mutual funds. Mag-invest na po tayo para sa ating future. Become an IMG member for as low as 5,500. Mahal pa yung lechon, no? Pero, pag nag-member ka nito, ang dami mo pang access. Up to 62 benefits na po ngayon. And, 8 to 11,000 for international calls. So, that's all. I hope you learned something. And thank you so much for your time. Get blessed.